chapter 22. Let's see what happens at the party. Well, Otis followed me all the way back, in, all the way into the backyard where the party was. Before he could run away, I introduced him to the preacher. Daddy, I said, this is Otis. He's the one who runs Gertrude's Pets. He's the one who plays the guitar so good. How do you do, said the preacher. He stuck his hand out to Otis, and Otis stood there and shuffled his big jar of pickles back and forth, trying to free a hand to offer back to the preacher. Finally, he ended up bending over and setting the jar down on the ground. But when he did that, his guitar slid forward and hit him on the head with a little boing sound. Sweetie Pie laughed and pointed at him like he was doing the whole thing on purpose just to amuse her. Ouch, Otis said. He stood back up and took the guitar off his shoulder and put it down on the ground next to the jar of pickles. And then he wiped his hands on his pants and stuck it out to the preacher, who took it and said, It sure is a pleasure to shake your hand. Thank you, said Otis. I brought pickles. I noticed, said the preacher. After the preacher and Otis were done shaking hands, I introduced Otis to Miss Franny Block and to Amanda. And then I introduced him to Gloria Dump. Gloria took his hand and smiled at him. And Otis looked right in her eyes and smiled back. He smiled big. I brought pickles for your party, Otis told her. And I am so glad, she said. It just ain't a party without pickles. Otis looked down at his big jar of pickles. His face was all red. <coughs> Opal, said Gloria, when are them boys getting here? I don't know, I said. I shrugged. I told them what time we were starting. What I didn't tell her was that they probably weren't coming because they were afraid to go to a party at a witch's house. Well, said Gloria, we got egg salad sandwiches, we got dump punch, we got pickles, we got dog pictures, we got litmus lozenges, and we got a preacher who can bless this party for us. Gloria Dump looked over at the preacher. He nodded his head at Gloria and cleared his throat <clears throat> and said, Dear God, thank you for warm summer nights and candlelight and good food, but thank you most of all for friends. We appreciate the complicated and wonderful yes. gifts you give in each other, and we appreciate the task you put down before us of loving each other the best we can, even as you love us. We pray in Christ's name, amen. Amen, said Gloria Dump. Amen, I whispered. Gertrude, croaked Gertrude. Are we fixin' to eat now, Sweetie Pie asked. Shh, said Amanda. When Dixie sneezed, there was a far-off rumble of thunder. Remember about the thunder? I thought at first it was when Dixie's stomach growling. It ain't supposed to rain, said Gloria Dump. They didn't predict no rain. This dress is silk, said Miss Franny Block. I cannot get it wet. Maybe we should go inside, said Amanda. The preacher looked up at the sky, and just then the rain came pouring down. Oh my, it's raining on the party. Let's see what happens in chapter 23.